So I'm just going to talk to you for a little while about how to create a vintage kitchen, um, which is something I did in my home here about six or seven years ago. And we started off by just clearing all the old cupboards and all the old uh, kitchen cabinets out uh, to get a completely clear kitchen. And there was loads, lots of space when we started. Um, the first thing we did was to really just plan. And we spent six months just living in the kitchen before we, um, before we removed everything to just work out where we wanted to have items, where we wanted to have the sink, where we wanted the kitchen, um, areas where we walked most to make sure that we weren't gonna block those areas off. Uh, so once that planning was done, uh, we then decided uh, what we wanted to have in the kitchen. And the most important thing to have in the kitchen were the, were the cooker and then storage cupboards um, and then the table and the benches that we've got. Uh, so we started off with a large piece like this, which I had uh, seen in India and I thought, right, that would be absolutely perfect for my kitchen. Um, but obviously it's not as tall as some cupboards that you might have in your kitchen and it's not absolutely packed with shelves and storage. Um, so what we decided to do um, as we wanted to go a little bit more higher was to have these small um, desks, these teak desks or these teak little chest of drawers on top. Um, it allows us to put smaller items and, and, and basically extend the storage. Um, so it allows us to store um, paperwork in here and small little bits and bobs in here as well. So I think if you do want a, a vintage kitchen, what you're really looking for is something with really unique character, a really unique charm. Um, so what, one of the steps to take once you've got your bigger pieces in place and these kind of like slightly smaller pieces are to maybe dress it up a little. Think about what are the items that I really want to have in my kitchen. Um, and I've gone for more plants. Uh, you can see I've gone for uh, little, little glass bottles, um, little medicine bottles. French uh, mid-century pastis bottles, Indian uh, post box up here as well. So I've, I've really kind of mixed it up uh, to really add that character in. Um, and if you if you don't necessarily have a vintage kitchen or you have a, a uniform fitted kitchen, then it's it's perhaps a little bit harder to really inject that character and really inject that charm into the kitchen. Although it's a kitchen and primarily for uh, preparing and, and eating food at the dinner table, you want to inject as much character to the room as well. We had some wall space um, after we had the kitchen set up um, and I spotted this again at one of our uh, dealers' places and it's an old cabinet in which someone's collected all sorts of aeronautical and aircraft history and aircraft parts and they've, they've just displayed it really well in this case. So it's a real mix of collectibles, artwork drawn and made by the children at the kitchen table, as well as little storage cupboards and little cabinets over there. 